Sequestration, automatic spending cuts, now cutting back at one of the Miami Valley's most popular attractions, the U.S. Air Force Museum. Shelby Costo shows what has to go. It's tonight's big story. We are inside one of the two galleries that will soon close. Visitors only have until the end of this month to see one of the most popular attractions, including President Kennedy's Air Force One. I understand why they have to do it. I mean, money's tied everywhere, but um, it's sad that other people won't get to see that. Amy Booth is upset sequestration cuts have made their way to the National Museum of the United States Air Force. April 30th will be the last day visitors can board a shuttle and visit galleries that house the XB-70 Valkyrie and President Kennedy's Air Force One. That's one of the main reasons we went over to the other hangar was to see that plane because, I mean, that's, that's history. That's our living history. These were hard decisions. Uh, nothing was easy. Um, the rest of the Air Force is the very same way. They're tough decisions. Museum Director Lieutenant General Jack Hudson says the main museum complex will stay open seven days a week. But the galleries that require a bus shuttle service will be cut. He says closing the massive hangars will save over 120000 Those are big buildings, and we do save... Uh, utility bills by doing that. Also on the chopping block, aerospace summer camps for kids and the behind the scenes tours where visitors can see the restoration of the famous Memphis Bell. It's just a great historical place and people just don't realize what we have here. Bill Krieger has visited the museum since he was a kid and it's where he takes his grandson. He only hopes they can figure out a way to keep the entire museum open for future generations. I would hope so because I want to come back here with my great grandkids next. So, At the Air Force Museum, I'm Shelby Costo for Fox 45 News.